Hello and welcome. Today we're making sacrilegious underpinnings from 1915 and with the biggest question of all. Can you make a decent corset using just a pattern block? I don't know. Let's find out! Whee! So this era was all about getting away from stiffer Edwardian styles, but still heavily influenced by it. The skirts were getting shorter and the length straighter. World War I was wreaking havoc in Europe, women were still not allowed to vote, Typhoid Mary was doing her thing, they found Pluto, Einstein presents his theory of relativity, and Annabelle was built in doom. Very sexy lingerie. Today I'm not working, I'm not functioning. Very weird. Heading five centimeters here, so I have a gentle A-line, but not so much, because the lines of this period, they are very straight. Cut on fold. If I have enough fabric, then I will add a ruffles. Otherwise, I'm just gonna extend this to the middle of my thigh and put some trims just to be pretty. Now that's done, it's pretty easy to pattern. 10 centimeters from the waist and 5 centimeters extra on the bottom. I think I am going to mark the upper darts because then I can create a flare only on this part just to make sure everything's on place and that my tatas will not fall off. <laughs> I will have to slash the whole pattern again. I want this to be fluffier than it is right now. One line here. I think three slashes will be okay. Yeah! I'll slash and now let's glue this back. <laughs> Beautiful. So much tape. Yes, it's mostly tape now. Well, I don't need to cut this on the fold because since I'm putting a lace right in the middle there, I'm having a brain fart. Wait, no, it's right, it's right, it's right. One surgery later. These are the pieces for the chemise. The bottom skirty part, the back panel, the front panel to add the lace insertions. And I was able to cut, indeed, a little bit of ruffles. Ruffles. So I will have a ruffle on my chemise. <laughs> Let me start with the front. We have the front trace. We need four panels. I want a burger! So I need a waistline without waist shaping right under the armpits. But I still need to cinch my waist. So we need a bigger thing than here. Let's go for four centimeters. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So these are my panels. The first markings. This is beautiful. And I bought three different busks because I was not sure about the measurement. And I was too lazy to come downstairs and get a tape to measure myself. So let's see if I got something I can use. Oh, I did! It's 28 centimeters. <laughs> nice! And it's just a straight busk, it's not a butterfly busk. Didn't feel like getting a butterfly busk. <laughs> I will work here a few darts just to remove three centimeters more from the waist so it will cinch and it will be half centimeter to each side of my lines here. So, and the same for the bottom. Perpendicular line from the high hip and then continue on a straight line downstairs so I don't take too much of the butt area otherwise I'm not going to get in. Let's pray it works. I will remove extra six centimeters from the waist on the front. In the back I'm going to actually divide the center darts and not remove any fabric at all. I'm, I'm cinching the waist from the front only and see how that goes. It will be similar aside from the fact I'm dividing this dart throughout all the panels. One centimeter per dart. One, two, three, four, four. I have five panels on the front. I should have four. But I have five. Anyways, the back was easier than the front. So this is the front and the back panels. I need to cut this now and see what adjustments will be needed. I think I will need gussets on the front, but I'm not sure yet. And maybe I will need also a little bit more space on the bottom to fit my bacon. Chili. 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 Hello, it's tomorrow and I have decided to make a change here on these two lines just to have a little bit more of a curve. This is the back and this is the front. A tiny... Ooh, ah, my pins are flying everywhere. <laughs> just a tiny neckline here and just a little bit curved here on the back to form more structure. I will remove the waist shaping so I have a little bit more cinching. Now to take this apart and cut the pieces. <laughs> go with 5 8 similar just to be sure. The size 
hands and the height are pretty okay. I have to take in a little bit here. Because it's all, thank God, not be needed. And the length is also good. Wow, I don't need to change much. I think I'll remove a little bit from the waist on the sides. Other than that, it's fine. It's pretty fine. Never thought this would happen. Oh my God, this is insane. So apparently making a corset from a sloper is feasible and quite easy. I will fix things and cut the calico for the base. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have a new ironing table. I feel so fancy. Everything is attached now the way it should be. Aside from the bus, because the bus didn't arrive yet. Let's press the seat open. <laughs> I'm curious what will happen with this seam over here. Because it's a very curvy curve. I think I'm gonna have to straighten it, but I don't know yet. <laughs> My favorite part now in styling eyelets. I messed up this hole, so I had to close it with a piece of canvas and <laughs> re pull it. Mmm, way better. One eternity later. I'm running out of matching eyelets. Yay! Well, <laughs> seconds later, the bus arrived, and it's time to insert it into the correct place. If I told you that I have a slight idea what I'm doing, I would be lying. Because I never inserted a busk before. Ever. Let me mark the seam allowance first. This is the center front. I need to mark where the busk will go. Nervous and excited at the same time. One centimeter down from the end here. These are the places where I'm leaving open to insert. Let's see if this is going to work out. This will go between the seam allowances. Hello, can you please get in? Thank you. Thank you very much. And then it is placed where it needs to be placed. But I think I'm going to first understitch the seam allowance so as it stays in place. Also, press it. <laughs> one busked piece. And the other one is just so inserted and owl punched. Owl punched. Find my measuring tape. I lost my measuring tape again. Okay, 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 okay. And now to L punch the holes. Kind of wobbly. Mine are very straight line. Five. Ooh, beautiful. If everything went right, then it will just go in here. To closed. Very scary. Try it on. We'll make it this later. One thing that always happens is that I have no idea how something will fit before it's <laughs> almost done. This is the case here with this thing. The fit is quite alright, but I do need to insert a gusset not on the boob area, but on the butt area. Here to be exact. Because when I was wearing this, it was pulling so hard that it was forming a V over here. And I don't want that. So now I will open this, insert a gusset up to here, and hope for the best. But the rest turned out pretty cool. It is pretty cool. A six inch gusset. A gusset insertion, just like my nose. <laughs> Another eternity later. So I inserted the first layer of ruffles with a straight face underneath, a double lace, and the pink ruffle will be here. I'm doing most of it on stream. I stream on Twitch Tuesdays and Thursdays with my very nice community of violin soloists because violence is always the answer and you can join me there for more shenanigans. But it's a wrap for today because I'm tired and my back hurts. See you tomorrow. Pablo. Bist du gefährlich? Hello. I look like a crazy person today because yesterday we got our booster shots and my arm is... No, no, no. 
no. But I do need to finish this, so let's keep on going. The next part is now the final ruffalo. My my head is not working today. Okay, I need one height for the base. And these two will be the ruffalos. <laughs> one ruffalo later. The pins, the pins, the pins. Although it hurts, I'm very pleased to have gotten my booster yesterday because we are soon going on vacation and I wish to be able to do stuff and not only stay inside the Airbnb watching TV. <laughs> We're going to snow! Because Shushu, 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 she loves snow and we need snow for the Shushu. This lower ruffalo will be more ruffaloed than the upper ruffalo. Or so I plan it. <laughs> Time for a very deep conversation. <laughs> Have you ever had a dream of yours reference to another dream you had years ago? I'm cursed or blessed with remembering everything I dream for a very long time. And last night I dreamt that I was back at fashion school. One of the professors looked at me and said, here's your list of books that you took the last time you were here. And only Attack on Titan manga. And I remember that I read the mangas in a last dream. And I was in this library where I read the mangas. That was not the library in the uni. And I was very confused. And I just stopped talking. <laughs> Wee, ruffles. Oh, I am so dizzy. Let's attach this and the last layer of lace, and we are done with the lower part. And then just attach the upper part and finish. You got it, right? You, you got it. <laughs> when sewing later. Oh, it's so cute. Look at this. I will add lace here on the bottom and then just finish these two. And I have decided for a sacrilegious overlook him on the ruffle. Because I don't feel like doing the real deal. My garments are historically challenged. As long as they look pretty and can pass for the real deal, I'm totally okay with that. To attach the last lace. I'm so excited. Oh, look at this! To the overlock! Look at it! Finish! This is how it's looking. I really like this setting on the machine. Now the time of truth! If this will work as I intended it to work. Gather the front part. Oh, putting my arm up is torture. I cannot even put my hair up because of the pain! The pain! <laughs> Change plans. Finish this part. Because it will be attached to a lace, it will just look ugly if I don't do that. I wanna jump the lace. I want to ruffle only the white panel. <laughs> I'm going to cut a slit in the middle of the bag so it's easier for me to get in and out. Those of you with huge boobs know the struggle of making something fit through your boobs if you don't have any type of closure or similar. And with non stretchy fabric. I touch the hot iron. Oh, ow, ow. <laughs> and now I can start with the back first. Oh my god, I need pins. Pins. This is not going to work. <laughs> I'm incompetent. I'm very incompetent. 12 <laughs> seconds later. I'll attach the back panels first because they are only straight. And now I can try to ruffle this into place. Oh no. Oh Oh, no. Okay, I'm gonna take care of this and I'll be right back. <laughs> A few minutes later. <laughs> She is cute. Or what? I love it. It's so cute. Time for the reveal. It was already a nightmare to make my hair and now I need to get into the corset without using my right arm. This will be fun. At least I'm not wearing black panties. <laughs> I can't show you the whole chemise without the corset. But here it is. I think it's so cute. This is so cute. I cannot show you my tatas because the placement of some of the lace is very compromising. Get in there! I, I don't know how to busk. I have no idea how to busk. Yes, I did it! This is without lacing. I need to lace it. And this is the part that will hurt the most. <gasps> there it is. I lost an eyelet and the string broke. This will be fun. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Just not move. I'm happy with the fit. I think I will just have to change the side seam a little bit. This is my mistake. This one is curvier than the other. But it's not a huge problem. I am seriously considering wearing historical undergarments as normal clothes because they're so freaking cute. 
I can't. I lost a few of my eyelids here on the back and my thing ripped. Other than that, it's all fine. And seriously, I'm in love with this chemise. I don't know if it's too short for the period, but I really like it. It's so cute. This is a quick and dirty reveal because I am in pain. I'm in serious pain. And I'm sitting down, very comfortable. Finished with piping and I tied a little bit so it's not gaping that much. But I didn't know how to finish otherwise because of the lace. So this is a good finish for me and it works and it will be hidden. <laughs> It's fine. And now I have a new corset that I need to put to use. My corset collection is growing and growing and growing and I have no garments to go with them. I need now the garments to go to the undergarment. And patterning this with this body sloper was really, really easy. I think I'm gonna give it a go on other periods as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like these shenanigans, then check them on downstairs because I think you're going to like it as well. Bye.